Hello, John here, and welcome to episode 10 of Tutorial 37, which is the Hunchback Community Dev Series. Now, in this episode, we're going to take what we've done with the ball. So we've got a ball that moves around and does a jump, and we're going to apply some artwork to it. So we're going to make the ball a man, and we're going to understand how we can use framing to make the man move and look like he's moving as well as jumping and making look like he's jumping so we're going to take what we've already done and we're going to modify it this is basically the last bit of the basic learning of um, pi game because um, this is all about the image and what we can do with it and stuff like that in the in, in in the next episodes we're going to get to the hard stuff you know real in your face game development so let's have a bit of fun and let's see if we can get this fella jumping up and down and doing what we want so there you go there's the raspberry pi let's fire up our code And we'll load our project. Let's see, recent, open recent projects. There we go. Get rid of these two windows because we don't need them. So these are recent projects. So this is where we did episode nine. So we're gonna create another file. And we're gonna call this episode 10. Making the ball a man. And then we're going to copy everything that was in here. Oh, let's get rid of this. And turn our keyboard on. So I forgot to do that. Right. Oops. I've gone, I've gone happy clicking again. Right. So copy this and we'll paste it into there. That's it. And we'll get rid of episode nine. So we're now working on episode 10 and we'll tell it it's a Python file. Oh, and it doesn't know it's a Python file because it hasn't got the PY on the end of it. There we go. Right, so. <laughs> what we need to do now is we need to um, well one is give the man something to stand on and two make the man move now the first thing we need to do is let's instead of having the white in fact let's run it because it's been a while since I've run it and see what we get There we go. So we've got the ball, moves around, shouldn't go off the screen, no he doesn't. There we go, and we have got it jumping. Right. So what I want to do now, instead of that white background, <laughs> I want it to have I want it to have some decent background. So, I have gone trolling, 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 delving. That's a new word. Anyway, I've gone trolling or delving into the thing, the wonderful thing called the interweb, and I've been looking at backgrounds, and I picked this fella as our background. What a wonderful sight. So hopefully we're going to have our man walking across there, like so, and then bouncing. Well, hey. So that's the plan. Now, to put a background on the screen, it's pretty, pretty easy. It's not too difficult. Not too difficult. So what we need to do is 
when we initialize the game, we need to create a, uh, we need to store the background in an, in an image variable. So let's call it background. And we want to um, basically load the image into the background. So basically you can do it that by going by game dot image, because that's what we're messing around with, dot load. And then you put in the uh, directory and all that. So, so I was uh, thinking it's forward slash, and I think it was assets. Yep, yeah, assets forward slash, and I think we called it background, didn't we? Background. I'll do. Dot png. Dot p. NG. I don't think we need that one, do we? Uh, right, so now we've loaded that, we then can basically put it into as the image on our window. And the way to do that is that we, here, where we draw the screen, draw the screen, First thing we need to do is not fill it with white, not at all fill it with white, is we're now going to, there's a new command called blitz. And this blitzes an image onto the screen. So we're gonna call, we're gonna tell it to blitz the background image onto the screen. And we're gonna tell it that it's gonna go at coordinates zero, zero. So it's gonna going at the top corner of the screen. So we're gonna blitz, blit, 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 yeah. We're gonna blit that image to the screen background and we're telling it the top corner should be at zero, zero. So if we run this, we should now have, ooh, can't open the asset. Right then. Done some reach and I know what the problem is now. It's because assets is not off the root. We have got another directory in there called Pi Game Tutorials slash assets. So that should now work. There we go. And as you can see, the screen is too small for the image. So we need to up the screen size. So um, I can't remember what the image size was. Let's have a look, see if we can see if it tells us on here. Da, 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 da. Wrong one. That one, yeah, that's the one. No, that's not the directory. Oh, come on, John. There we go. Does it tell me if I do properties on it? No. Okay. Let's open it up. Does it tell me? Has this got the properties on it? No. Hmm, oh, it's there, look. So it's a thousand by 705, okay. So we need to change our screen to be 1000 by 705. All right, let's run it again. There we go. In fact, it's bigger than Bigger than the Python screen, uh, bigger than the Raspberry Pi screen. But we'll be all right, we'll, we're, all, we're all right. So that's our background. So we've got a nice background for it. So what we need to do now is we need to um, import, well, we need to work out the, the movements for the ball, yeah? 
So the images that I've got are here. Right, so we're only talking left and right. So left and right. So here's left. So if we step through, he's a little man lot. And he's walking, and then he's got right as well. So, we, so that's going backwards and forwards. What happens if I zoom in? So there's our little man. So he's walking backwards. There you go. And if you notice, we've got left is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine frames per direction. So what we need to do is we need to be able to animate the ball in nine frames. Yeah. So um, this is where all the um, clever stuff comes into it. Because remember, we've got a game looper. Yeah. And we've got a game looper that's going round and round and round and round and round. And we need to be able to make sure that we are showing the right frame for when it's doing it. So what we need to do is we need to create two, basically two lists. One for the right, going right in direction, and one for going left in direction. And then we can roll through that array as we are going for, um, as we're moving the ball, who will be a man now, around, yeah? So first things first, we need to load those images in, yeah? And the way to do it is we need to do uh, a loop. So, if, so here we go, so let's put something here. Uh, load images for the game so that's the background image and then we need to load the images for um, the uh, walking animation so let's create a um, dictionary array so walking animation yeah so this is our um, Dictionary and a dictionary is a, a thing where you, you can store stuff against a name. Yeah, and We are going to create two lists in that dictionary. Yeah, so walking animation and then an array is square brackets. Yeah, so in here we're going to put right so this is going to be the right going in the right direct <laughs> going in the right direction and we're going to make that a list of images and doing it again and you know, I bet you can't guess what the other one is which will be left and we'll make that into an array of images as well so now we just need to import those images into this these these two arrays so for for i in range between one and nine. I think that's right. So range is saying um, to, to, to build a range be between these two numbers, one and nine. And then we're going to use that I to load the image in. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna construct the image. So file name, equals and so this is where it gets all tricky we already know that i need to put this in now pi game tutorials tutorials uh forward slash assets forward slash and we're doing we're going to be doing the right one first and then put a placeholder in and a placeholder allows you to change whatever's in that placeholder with something so png oops png and then we'll go um dot and format i and what that does this this format allows you to put that i into that placeholder so it's super it substitutes 
that placeholder for the letter I. Now we're going to image right equals pi gain dot image dot load and its file name. Yep. And we to to use this effectively in as an animation sp sprite effectively it's best to do a convert and um, because the converter la then python converts that png Im into an image format that it can manipulate very very easily so we'll do that and then we need to add it add it to the right array so we're going to add so it's append an image right Ooh, not import warning image right there we go so that's now importing that frame into that array and we need to do rinse and repeat on this for the left so we're going to do the same thing we're just going to copy paste it and we're going to change that to l and we're going to put this in the left array and then that's it so now we've set up our animation array now we just need one more and that's where um, standing uh, image so we need an image where he stood still yeah and just basically load it in so it's pi game dot image dot load and of course it's pi game tutorials assets and in this case we are looking at front 9.png front 9 is basically in facing forward and we'll do a convert on that as well so now we've got him standing so what we need to do now is we need to incorporate these images into the game loop all right and the way to do this is we're going to have to have um, some sort of walking counter um, because we need to we need to make sure we have the um, correct frame within the um, animation. So we need some sort of counter that is correctly um, identifying the um, image at the time we want to use it yeah so the, the 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 thing we need to do is we we need to create a a new variable and we'll put it down here so um walking counter for a better word and we'll set that to zero and basically where we are controlling let's uh, just bring some of that where we are controlling the character we need to then um, um, work out what image we're going to display when and how yeah so first thing so this is the update section so the first thing we need to do here is we need to um, test for our um, walking counter yeah and what I'm going to do is we're going to change this to um, we're not going to delay not going to delay we're going to work out the 
the frames I think yeah the frames so we've got we need a clock have we got a clock no so we need to create a clock so let's while we're setting well with that setting up the images here we go setting up so we need to create a clock that's going to control our game loop yeah so um, clock equals pi game dot uh, I think it's time dot clock and then here instead of doing the delay we are going to now convert to um, frames per second so we're going to say tick I'm going to say we want 27 frames per second and the reason why I say 27 because we've got nine images so three frames on each of the image if we did it too quick we would it would look like you'd have a fit but we can do that just have a laugh so now we're we are now having our game loop run 20 times 27 times a second so we need to um, control our walk counter because we don't want our walk counter to go a bit a bit bonkers all right so what we need to do is here um, if walk counter is greater than oh there's plus one because we want to test ahead it's greater than 27 then walk counter equals zero because zero to 26 is 27 frames so we want to test ahead and we want to be able to set the um, the uh, direction of how he's walking so we, we know what direction is going because we test for it here so let's create another variable up here called um, character direction no 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 walking direction set it to null string and then here we can say right walking direction equals left yeah that's right and walking direction equals right so now we're telling the system which way the characters walking so when we do the animation we can do something about it so what we then do is then in the in the do we do it do we do it here do we do it here yeah so what we need to do now is we need to create an image um, and because at the moment we're just drawing a circle so we need to create an image so we need an, an, an image uh, variable that allows us to um, to set whatever we want in that image yeah so right at the very start so let's set our image up so we're going to say that our uh, character equals and well in fact we'll go image character character image no character image equals and we want the standing one yeah so standing image and that will set our um, will set our image So here we then can in the drawing section drawings we don't need it in the drawing section we can do it here where we can go if and uh, oops walking walking direction 
equals, oh, it's that into it's double. Oh, it's not equal. Let's say not equal. And the reason why I say not equal, so not equal to that. Right. And the reason I say that is because we're going to be we're going to be very we're going to be very very clever here. So what we're going to do is we're going to now because it's not equal to nothing. So what we're now saying is uh, character image equals the walking animation. Yeah. So we're telling it we want an array, and it's the array of walking direction. So because we set walking direction to left and right, we can use those words as the identifier for the array type that we want. And then say, right, out of that, we want walking counter integer divide by three. Because if you remember, the arrays only work in one, two, three, four, five. They don't work in 1.3333. 1.6666, 1.9999, because we'll end up with an integer. So we do a div integer divide. So that will divide that 27 divided by three. So it left only ever give us one. Yeah, uh, the answer is one, two, three to nine. And so we're using that as to pick out our walking image. Then we just need to add walking counter plus equals one. So we're adding one to the walking counter. Now, if it's blank, you know, if it's blank, that means he's not walking. So what we need to do is, you know, character image equals uh, standing image because he's not walking. And then we walk in counter equals zero. So we set the walking counter to zero. Yes, should do it. As I'm thinking about it. So if he's not moving, we're still going around the cycle, but we reset in the walking counter. Do we need to reset the walking counter? Because if he moves again, we need, no. I'll just run that out for the moment because I don't think we need it. Just thinking out loud, don't think we need it. Now, to represent that um, image on the screen, we then have to um, display the image somehow. How are we going to do that? I wonder if there's a draw image. Hmm, I wonder if there's a draw image. Yeah. It's gotta be a draw image. Hmm. Yes, we are. Right, image. Image.load, image.save. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no no things about plunking it anywhere. From string to from buffer. Is that all there is?
All right, pygame.image. Yeah, that's all there is. So how do we set? How do we set the image? Yeah, we've done that. Where's the Python book? Hang on. Where's the Raspberry Pi Pi game book? Let me get my iPad out. iPad. Come on. Fire up. Pi game. Right. Images. Do, 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 do. Messing around with images. I think that's one of the back sections. Right. Physics and forces. No, we ain't got there yet. What am I missing? Sound? No, we're not doing that yet. Uh, okay, images, images, images. First game? No. Chapter three. Is it chapter three or is it chapter two? Ah, animating sprites. Here we go. No, it's not that. Okay, so we look. Chapter 6, I think it is. Chapter 5. That's the soundboard. Chapter 6. Must be chapter 6. Or oh, is it 7? Oh. Hang on. Chapter 6 is using images. Yes. How do they do it? How do they do it? Let's have a look. Blah, blah, blah. Blah 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 blah. Image logo image. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, right. Okay. Right. So if you stop blit. Okay. Did that from the background, didn't I? Uh, brain fart. Right, apparently we can do, so we do the same as this here. So we can do um, window, window dot blit, and it's the character image, comma, and then the X and Y. So player X, then player Y. So we'll run that out. So image dot blit player X and player Y. Okay. Should we see if that works? It's gonna be interesting. See if it works. Do we fall over? Are we gonna error? Syntax error. Ooh. What am I doing wrong there? What's what line's that? Twenty-seven. Oh. Equals a dictionary. Right. If that's the only error. Oh, clack. Did that say clack or oh, I don't know? God. Right, come on. What what's wrong now? Has no attribute clock. Really? Okay. Is it one of these silly ones where it's a capital? Aha! Oh, there's our man. 
So he goes up and down and he just is there's no direction. Right, so the, the one is now. There it Ooh What happened there? Out of range. What was out of range? Twenty four. So walk counters on twenty four. Okay. Where's our lists? So that's image right. Now we want we want walking animations. Here we go. So right. So how many we got? Naught to seven. We only got seven. What? One to nine. It's one to nine. Let's put a break point there. Let's find out what's going on. Right. So I is the number. Where is it? There it is. There's I. So we'll minimise that down, and minimise that down, there we go, right, so we're one, well let's just, let's just continue, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Yeah. Nine. Ooh. What's going on? So the walk direction's right. But now it says seven. Where's left? How many's in there? Set. So we got a total of eight. Oh. Ten. Right, so we'll put a break point here as well. Right, go. It's two. Let's just have a look at length. Yeah. So two, three. So we'll let it run, seven, eight. Now, nah, that does nine, and then it's come out. So how many have we got? Zero to eight. Right, we've got enough. Right, let's see if it carries on. All right, so we carry it on. There he is, so move right. There we go. Stop. Owen is still moving, look. So we need to, when we stop pressing, we've got to stop him doing it. Oh, he's still walking, look. <laughs> right, okay, let's click, close that down. So we need to sort that out. So what we need to do then is when it, when it comes through here, we, we need to set the direction. Yeah. So now... Yeah. 
as before we had the ball going diagonals so we, we we set the ifs that you could test for two criteria now we've got someone walking left or right we don't want them going diagonally so now what we can do is we can make these else ifs yeah so basically it's saying if we're going right then we'll go right if we're going left then we're going left yeah if it's anything else then we're not so we can say uh, walking direction equals nothing and uh, walking yeah walking counter is going to have to set the zero you can't get away from it so if oh let's play it up play it down isn't it I'm in the wrong place in the wrong place so we'll cut this out let's play up play down it's here because we only want to test for one direction at a time so else and then we'll do that so they're either we're either going left we're either going right or we're standing still yep that should do it right so that means the man should stop Ooh, we've got to take the break points out. We don't need them anymore now. Go. In the background. So he's there, right, left. Let go. Haha. <laughs> right. Let go. Excellent. Excellent. Delente. Right. Now the problem is the man's up there and we want him down here. So what we need, to, let's run it again. What we need to do, we need to figure out where that bottom is. Now we can do that because we can follow the mouse movement. So if we move this out of the way, we should see some coordinates. Should see some coordinates down here. Yeah, there we go. Can you see it that here? So we want this bit here. So that's round about. So we want him about there. So that's what? 600 so it's 600 down so that's where we want to start him so we start him at 50 50 so we want to start him at 600 on the y so he should be on that pathy thing well that's way too far no can't be 600 Okay, let's make it 550. Okay. Oh, because we're looking at this point here. So that's 550, it's just a little bit low. So we'll go 525. 525. Too high. So five three five. That looks about right. Now we've got up and down, and we can't have that. And we've got him to oh, he jumps all right. Oh. Hey, right, so we need to get rid of, we need to stop the up and down bit. So what we, need, what we need to do is literally just disable the up and down bit. So, uh, and the way to do that is just to rem it out. So, rem that out, rem that out, rem that, and rem that. So we're effectively taking out the up and down. Right, so let's see. There's he jumps. E. 
And that's the basics of um, how to get a man or something moving about the screen. So if I go up, it doesn't go up. Down, it doesn't go down. Let's, does he fall? Does he wander off the screen? Oh, right. So we need to do something about that. So we need to change the test. So, so the player width. We don't know what the player width is. What's the image width? Let's have a look. No, not that one. So what's the image width? 64. So it's a 64, 64. So let's change the player height and width. So 64, 64. Right, that should stop it now. Right, let's go all the way over there. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Even though he's really far away, I don't care. And Oh, he's far away there. Yeah, he's really far away there. So what we need to do is because the maths we used it for the circle, we used the maths for the circle, didn't we? So for x, we don't need the play width. It's just the velocity. Oh right, that's right. That's that way, and we're doing the play width. So now we're putting it back now. So we're just saying velocity. Yeah, and here is screen minus the player width minus the velocity. Yeah, that should work. Right, so we'll do the left hand side first. So we'll walk left, that's better. And is it the same distance on the other side? Yeah, so there we go, we've got our man walking on Mars and jumping, massively jumping because of the the gravity difference. <laughs> he leaps way in the air. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> right. I think I think we've converted our ball into a man. Got him moving around. Had a bit of a brain freeze. I think I think we're we're, we're on. Should we, have we got time to do something else? Wow, wow, an hour. Oh dear. Um. Well, minus ten minutes for that research bit. Oh right, okay. We'll call it there. So there we go. So we've managed to put an image on the screen and moved it around and interacted with the border. Now, when we come to doing the game, we're not going to be using an image. We're going to be using sprites. And Pygame, I've got a sprite module that allows us to do what we want with a sprite. And it's very clever the way they've done it. And it will make life a little bit easier when we come to doing the game, um, the Hunchback game in Pygame. Because, you know, we want to emulate the 64 sprites. So, and the Pygame sprite module has very similar functionality to um, the 64 sprite stuff so there's collision detection and stuff like that so we will um, in the next episode we're going to create our Pygame program template that we will use for all games that we do in Pygame and we'll take it from there I think right well if you like what I do hit that like button if you don't like what I do, fine. Hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment because I try to answer them all. And if you would like to support me in a small way, then consider becoming a patron of mine. All the money raised in Patreon is used for this channel. And with that, I will say, see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. 
Thank you very much.